Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and in this video, I'm going to be taking it back to the basics and teaching you everything you need to know about lace wigs, how to put on a full lace wig, how to blend your part, and how to make it look natural, and just everything you need to know about the basics of wearing a wig. Because I know a lot of you guys have never had a wig before, don't really know like the step-by-step -step instructions of it. Um, I kind of always skip ahead in all the rest of my wig videos. So this is going to be a basic instructional video on full lace wigs. So hopefully if you've never worn a wig before, this video will be very helpful for you and also help you know if you want to invest in one of these wigs or not. So the wig that I'm wearing and using for this video is a new one that RPG Show sent me. You guys have probably heard of RPG Show all over my channel and all over YouTube, so that's nothing new. RPG Show is like a really well-known wig company. They specialize in full lace wigs and they're just really good. I really like them. I have several wigs from them and I've really never had a problem with them. So I will definitely put the link and all the information down in the description box if you are interested in this specific wig so you can just look down there and get everything that you need. Okay, so since we're taking it back to basics, first things first, let's talk about packaging, which you guys have probably all seen this packaging before, whether it be on other people's channels or on my channel. It just comes in this gray box with the RPG Show logo and everything on it. And you just lift the top off of the box and you're gonna have a few things inside. You're gonna have your little instructions of lace wig booklet. It tells you everything you need to know about how to put it on, how to take care of it, everything like that. So if you are a beginner, with wigs you do want to kind of skim through this it has a lot of helpful information in it they also always give you a free little brush or comb and this is a new brush that I haven't gotten one of these before I kind of like collect the brushes is that weird along with that they usually almost always give you a free wig cap so you might get one like this which is just a stocking cap like this or you might get one like this which is a netted cap like this and I actually prefer these ones because uh, the wig has combs in it and the combs can still go through this and attach onto your hair really well with this kind you can't stick the combs through the cap so I prefer the netted caps and if your wig for some reason does not come with a free cap you can get these at the beauty supply store but these definitely come in handy when you're wearing wigs you definitely want to get some type of cap and then of course you're going to get your wig and RPG show puts theirs in plastic bags like this and also it comes originally wrapped in a hairnet but I already took the hairnet off of mine and then when you take your wig out it might be a little bit crunched up just because obviously they have to put it in a box but um, that's easily fixed so let's talk about what exactly a full lace wig is because I know a lot of you guys out there have never owned one of these and might have seen them on YouTube but don't really get the full details of exactly what what's going on on this wig. So the difference between this wig and the reason why it's so expensive is because each individual strand of hair is tied on to this lacy material, netted material. You can't even barely see it. And the material is usually in a light brown scalp type color and each individual hair is tied on to the material. There's no tracks, there's no lines going across your head. It's just hair tied on to the cap. So therefore, each part of the wig looks like a scalp instead of showing any tracks or anything like that because there are no tracks. So that's why these wigs are so expensive because each individual hair has to be usually hand tied on. So that can be pretty costly to make these wigs. And they're just super awesome because they look so natural. You can put a part anywhere in the wig. You can put them up in a ponytail. You can do uh, pigtails. You can do half up, half down, side part, middle part. Any type of part is just all as if it was your real hair as if you have just you know your scalp showing everywhere so it has a few little um sewn on pieces that just kind of create the shape of the wig but they put that in the same color so that it's invisible when you wear the wig from the outside and then you'll see that it has combs these combs are what slide into your real hair to connect the wig to your head so that it doesn't go anywhere and they also put the little colored fabric on it to help hide that as well from the outside and then if you look at the 
nape of the neck around the bottom of the wig you will see these adjustable straps which are elastic to where you can undo this and tighten it if you need your wig to be tighter or looser so this comes really in handy because everybody's head is different depending on how long your hair is and everything like that you're gonna need more or less space underneath your wig so these adjustable straps really really help to make it fit really snug to your head because you want a really tight fit so that it's not sliding around and so that you can put it up in a ponytail without it lifting up and stuff like that. So when you first get your wig, it's going to have this excess lace going around the front and usually around the nape of the neck as well. And it's just this little extra piece of material um, that's hanging off the rest of the wig. As you can see, the hair stops back here, but they just have this extra piece of material. And this is so that you can customize your own hairline. Usually when I do it, I just cut it straight off. I don't really try to make any type of design with the hairline or anything. I just cut it in pretty much a straight line. Because I like to leave my own hairline out, so I'm using my own hairline, so it doesn't really matter what this hairline looks like. But if you want to wear your wig completely covering all your hair, all your baby hairs, you can create a more realistic hairline by cutting dents in, you know, a more wiggly pattern rather than just a straight line. Because as you can see, my hairline, it waves like this. And it goes in right there so that's more what a real hairline looks like not just a straight rainbow shape so you can cut this part to look like that and you know however you want it to look um, but like I said I usually just cut mine in a straight shape just because I'm gonna wear it back here so it doesn't matter and then especially on the back one I just cut it straight off because it doesn't really matter so the excess lace usually goes from ear to ear and it has ear tabs which means on the side of the wig it pokes out a little bit see how my hairline it comes out in front of my ear the wig is made in that same shape too so you can just start cutting right there and cut all this off So now I'm ready to put the wig on and first things first, I'm the realist, <laughs> I'm going to put on my wig cap and I prefer the netted wig caps in a scalp type nude color so this is like my favorite one and just slide that on over my hair and my hair is obviously um, pulled back, braided down, whatever you need to do to get your hair as flat to your head as possible you want your real hair just super flat that's what makes your wigs look really natural in the end because um, you don't want all this extra puffiness going on you just want it to be so flat so corner your hair or do whatever you need to do and then how I put it on is I hold the wig by the back so I'm holding it basically upside down by the adjustable straps and I dip my head into the front line up the front part and then reach it around to the back flip it and this is a middle part wig i mean it comes trained in a middle part and styled in a middle part but like i said this is a full lace wig so you can do whatever you want to it any type of part um you can change it up really easily but i'm just putting it on how it came first so you just take the combs that are around the front, there's going to be one on either side and one on the top, and you just slide those into your real hair so you can get a good grip. So I could walk out of the door just like this, fresh out of the box, but I'm not going to because I can still make this wig look a lot more realistic. I don't really like middle parts on me, but I'm going to work with it just for the purpose of this video since it did come like this. But if I did want to change the part, all I would have to do is take my comb, part it over, wet the hair so that it would lay down flat, and then dry the hair in that position. So it's just a wet to dry method to change the part. And like I said, you can part this hair literally anywhere because they give you full lace so it's going to look like scalp no matter where you part it which is the awesome part of these wigs so let's make this look more natural up in this region first thing i'm going to do is take a rat tail comb i'm going to pull the wig just like a centimeter back behind my hair and then i'm going to part my hair to match up with the part of the wig so i'm just going to part it and scoot this over like this 
Then I'm going to take my little toothbrush that I use for my edges. I'm going to take my edge control, which I use the um, Design Essentials Edge Control, which I got in my We Are Onyx box. And I've been using it ever since I got that box in that last video. And I actually really like this edge control. Um, I don't have really kinky hair, so my baby hairs are actually like smooth baby hairs but they do not like to lay down in the right direction so this works on my type of hair texture I just don't know if it would work on a more kinkier hair texture um, but it works for me so I just did my toothbrush and a little bit of the edge control and I'm just gonna slick down my edges in the right direction then as you can see the color of the wig compared to the color of my scalp the wig is way too dark for my scalp so that's why I take my concealer which is the color of my scalp I dip it in my handy dandy wig concealer part brush just because it's like the perfect little shape it's gonna dip that in there not too much just a very very little amount actually and then just go in and color the part the right color Then I'm going to go in with the Q-tip and blend that out. So now as you can see it looks a lot more natural. It actually blends in. It looks like it could be my real hair. Uh, it's all about the scalp color and the baby hair. So once you got your part all figured out you can just go in and style your wig. Brush it out. Do whatever you need to do. However you like it. I'm just going to brush these curls out a little bit just because they're kind of going all over the place. So in order to preserve the thickness of your wig, you really want to be gentle when you're brushing it. So I definitely recommend just using the brush that they gave you. So from here, you can do whatever you want to the wig. This is human hair. This is high quality hair. So you can definitely wash it. You can straighten it. You can put your curling iron on it. You can even dye it, bleach it, whatever you want to do. Um, it's up to you. So that's pretty much it for applying and styling this lace wig from RPG Show. If you are a beginner to wigs, um, I hope you found this helpful. Even if you're not a beginner, I hope you still found this video interesting or helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. I don't really do middle parts. Not really my favorite. So you guys can let me know how that looks. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Do whatever you want to the wig. And Hey, let me call you right back in just a second. You just take the combs and slide. So I just 